All right, so this is the number six FRQ from the 2024 AP Calculus AB exam. If I have any corrections, I will put it in the pinned comment. Okay, functions f and g are defined by this. Ooh, this is a weird graph. Okay, um, let r be the region bounded by this graph. Right, but do not divide an integral that gives the area. Okay, so always draw a rectangle. This is always what I teach my students, draw a rectangle. The width is dx, the height is the top minus the bottom. So a is literally going to be the integral from, uh, so the height of the rectangle is the top minus bottom. So f of x minus g of x dx, and then you're going to integrate this from 0, 0 to 2. That would be the area there. And if you, I mean, you know, you could replace it with the f of x, make it x squared. I would not simplify this, by the way. This is just for those of you who are interested in what you would do if you wanted to solve it. But they said do not evaluate. So we just leave it just like that. That's f of x, g of x. Make sure you have parentheses around them. Let s be the round b by the graph g and the x-axis from 2 to 5. Um, region s is the base of a solid. For this solid, each of the x at each x, the cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis. That's going to be a, a thing like this. So that's perpendicular to the x-axis because I'm slicing it vertically, perpendicular, is a rectangle with height equal to half of its base in region height. So it's going to make a rectangle here. And the rectangle is just going to be half the height, right? So it's gonna, you're going to get this kind of three-dimensional shape, okay? And the way you always do volume is just d volume is always area times the thickness. What is the area? Well, it's the length and width. It's the, 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 the height of that function, which is just g of x. So it's going to be g of x. And then the height is half of that. So this is g of x. The height is half of that times 1 half g of x. And then the thickness is dx, right? Because these are very thin rectangles in the x direction, dx. And then the total volume is you're going to sum up that volume. All the volume from, from where to where, from x equals, because you're integrating over x, you're going to integrate from 2 to 5 here. So we can pull out the 1 half, integral from 2 to 5, g of x squared, which is this thing squared. Um, oh, they actually want you to evaluate this integral. Probably easiest way to do that is just FOIL this thing out and do power rule. So if I FOIL this out, you could factor out an x. I don't know. There's a lot of ways you could do this. I'm just going to FOIL it out. x to the fourth. And then this time, this is minus 2x cubed. So it's going to double it minus um, 4. Oops. 4x cubed plus 4x squared dx. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, do power rule on that. So it's going to be x to the fifth over 5 minus x to the fourth plus 4x cubed over 3. Put parentheses there from 2 to 5. Plug in the 5 and plug in the 2. And honestly, I would not simplify that. That's 5 to the 5th over 5 minus 5 to the 4th plus 4 times 5 cubed over 3. And then let's put brackets and then we'll subtract plugging in 2. 2 to the 5th over 5 minus 2 to the 4th plus 4 times 2 cubed over 3. And honestly, I would not bother... Like I said, just don't do the arithmetic. Just leave it like that. You can use a calculator outside of the test if you want to verify what that, that is, but you know, I would not I would not attempt to simplify that. Right, but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generated when the region S is rotated around the horizontal line, y equals twenty. So y equals twenty is this line over here. And so what we're going to do is now we're going to take a different rectangle. Maybe I'll just make it a red rectangle just for a kick. So we're going to take that rectangle. We're going to revolve it around there. And that's going to make a, there's going to be a hole here when I revolve it, right? Because I take that rectangle, I revolve it around. I am going to make a washer. Okay. So again, the, the volume, the piece of volume there is going to be area times thickness. What is the area in this case? Well, this is a circle with the circle removed. So it's the area of a big circle minus the area of a little circle times the thickness being dx. Now, what is big R? Big R is from the axes to the edge of the rectangle. So big R is going to be the distance from there to there, which is 20. Because the top y value minus the bottom y value. It's from the axes. 
And then the inner rect the little r is going to be from the axes to the top edge of the rectangle, going to be from there to there. And that is going to be 20, the top y value, minus the bottom y value. This y value is just g of x. So just say g of x there, because this is g of x. Yep. So then this is going to be pi times 20 squared minus pi times 20 minus g of x squared dx. And then we're going to integrate that all the rectangles all or all of those disks from 2 to 5 like that.